Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday the 28th of March. India criticizes United for consensus model on UNC reforms. Political activist slams Pakistan for zero development in POK. And Nepal urges China to convert Pokhara Airport loan into grant after low usage. And now for all the details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will embark on a two-day state visit to Bhutan on Thursday following the invitation of his Bhutanese counterpart, Shering Topge, who was in New Delhi earlier this month on an official visit. In a statement, India's foreign ministry said the visit by Prime Minister is in keeping with the tradition of regular high-level exchanges between India and Bhutan and the government's emphasis on its neighbourhood first policy. During the two-day visit, PM Modi will call on King of Bhutan, Jigme Kesan Namgyal Wongchuk, along with the fourth King of Bhutan, Jigme Singhai Wongchuk. He will also hold bilateral talks with his Bhutanese counterpart, Shering Topge. The visit by Prime Minister will provide an opportunity for both sides to exchange views on bilateral and regional matters of interest and deliberate on ways to expand and intensify the exemplary partnership for the benefit of the people of both countries, the statement by India's Foreign Ministry said. India on Tuesday slammed the Uniting for Consensus model on UNC reforms, citing that it won't empower Africa or Global South nations or change permanent seat membership. The UFC, which comprises 12 countries and two observers, including the P5 nations, stands against the idea advocated by a majority of the UN member states, which is an expansion in the permanent and non-permanent categories of an expanded security council. India's permanent representative to UN, Ruchira Kamboj, stressed the need for change in United Nations Security Council reforms and much, also uh, asked Rupa. why the UFC uh, model is content to relegate the delegations of the Global and, uh, South to the category of non-permanent seats. Permanent members, including the present E10, does not provide the checks and balances to the issues related to P5 E10 dynamics. It would continue to be a binary P5 and an E22 straddling the same issues. As things stand, a majority of the P5 members themselves agree that expansion in both the permanent and the non-permanent categories of the United Nations Security Council is the only way to redeem the Council for the 21st century. After many rounds of talks, IMF on Tuesday reached a staff-level agreement with Pakistan, which if approved by its board will disperse $1.1 billion for the indebted South Asian economy, also settled with a balance of payment crisis. The funds are the final tranche of $3 billion last gap rescue package Pakistan had secured last summer, which awarded a sovereign debt default. Islamabad is also seeking another long-term bailout. The deal comes after the IMF mission held five days of talks with Pakistani officials to review the fiscal consideration benchmarks set for the loan. IMF in a statement said, Pakistan's economic and financial position has improved in the months since the first review, with growth and confidence continuing to recover on the back of prudent policy management and the resumption of inflows from multilateral and bilateral partners. Ahead of the standby arrangement, Pakistan had to meet IMF conditions including revising its budget and raising interest rates as well as generating revenues through more taxes and hiking electricity and gas prices. Meanwhile, political activists in Geneva has slammed Pakistan for neglecting the needs of the people in POK and said that the administration has not given any rights and benefits to the citizens. A report. Sardar Nasir Aziz Khan, the central spokesperson of UK PNP, United Kashmir People's National Party, on Monday slammed Pakistan over zero infrastructure development in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and negligent attitude towards addressing the issues of people in the region. The activist further said that Pakistan has been ruling POK just like the viceroys used to rule during the colonial British era during which they enjoyed absolute powers. Emphasizing with the residents of POK, Khan said that they are being deprived of everything and are even facing unemployment. 
जो पाकिस्तान के जेर इंतजाम कश्मीर है जिसके को उफ्याम में आजाद कश्मीर कहा जाता है आजाद का मतलब होता है फ्री इंडिपेंडेंट कश्मीर लेकिन इन फैक्ट अगर जो रियलिटी है जो ग्राउंड रियलिटीज है तो उसमें आप देखें तो जो आजाद कश्मीर में उन्होंने एक सेटअप बनाया है गवर्नमेंट है लेकिन उनके पास कोई इख्तियार नहीं है पाकिस्तान के लैंड ऑफिसर वहां पे जिस तरह वासराय होता था कॉलोनियल एप में ब्रिटिश का वो जाके रूल करते थे और एब्सोल्यूट पावर्स एंजॉय करते थे He further said that anyone who raised their voice against the atrocities they faced they are often declared an anti-Islam or an agent of foreign forces. He claimed even media is not talking about the tragedies they face in their daily lives. Locals in POK have long blamed they have been at the receiving end of the discriminatory policies of Islamabad. They say they are fed up of poor roads, power outages and the corrupt system which is least interested in bringing about a change. and nepal is in talks with china to convert loan for pokhara international airport to grants prime minister pushpa kamal dehal informed parliament on tuesday dehal answering a query in parliament said due to increasing loss and piling debt diplomatic talks are underway with beijing to convert the loan acquired for the construction of airport into grants the airport which was built at the cost of 1.37 billion yuan was opened in january 2023 but has not seen any frequent international flights except for the chartered chinese flights which appears in rare occasions the hell who had visited china in 2023 had assured chinese flights would come to pokhara helping to cover loss however no such flights commenced till now its association with china's bri project have also made it hard to attract international flights especially from indian airlines as new delhi have opposed the beijing initiative citing infringement of its sovereign territory pokhara biman sthal bata antarrashtriya udan sanchalan tatha vyavasthapan ka lagi sarvajanik niji saajedari ko aadhar taiyar garna samiti gathan bhai kare bhai raheko jankari garauna chahanchu समिति को प्रतिवेदन का आधार में विमानस्थल संचालन तथा अंतरराष्ट्रीय उड़ान का बारे में आवश्यक व्यवस्था मिलाइने पोखरा अंतरराष्ट्रीय विमानस्थल निर्माण का लगी ली ऋण लुदान का रूप में रूपांतरण करना कूटनीतिक पहल सुरू कर इस जोड़ वित्तीय व्यवस्थापन का विषय में आवश्यक समन्वय कर Bangladesh Foreign Minister Hassan Mahmood on Tuesday slammed main opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party and said the party does not want support and cooperation from people but rather from foreigners news agency UNB has reported The comment from Mahmood came in response to BNP leader Abdul Moin Khan's remarks in which he had said if Awami League can seek help from friendly state to establish one party rule BNP seeks this help to restore democracy in country Mahmood said Moin Khan is making such comments to sustain his party BNP is very weak workers have no confidence in their leaders he added Sheikh Hasina who has won a fourth straight term this year is accused by main opposition party BNP and western powers of rights violations and cracking down on free speech BNP has also dismissed the January election terming it as sham Holy relics of Lord Buddha and those of his two main disciples Arhant Sariputta and Mahamogalana were brought back to India on Tuesday evening from Thailand Returned in a special IAF flight, the relics were accorded state honor in Delhi, where it was received by Minister Menakshi Lekhi and Buddhist religious heads. Holy relics have returned to India after 25 days of exposition in four cities of Thailand, during which over four million devotees from Thailand and other countries from Mekong region paid homage to the relics. Thailand's envoy to India has thanked the Indian government for the exposition and has said. This initiative would attract more Thai people to visit India and reconnect with their roots. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.